Welcome back, ladies and gents, to Final Fantasy 16. We've just destroyed one of the Mother Crystals and had a fight with something that looked like it belonged in a horror movie, but yeah, let's crack on. Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This? It's only a scratch. All right, the hole. We'll... we'll find you a healer. Here? No, you won't. I know who you are, and if you think I'm gonna let you have him, what the hell is that? Think again. Tell us who he is, though. One left. I'll do me. Try not to talk. Ashen grip 
Let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Completely leave Sid to the side and just dive on uh, Jill. That's sad, man. I love Sid. I'm Why do they have to Clive. kill him off? Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, boy? It is Joshua. I saw you protect them. That was very brave. I know you're there, Ultima. Oh. You have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. The breath of mine ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. And I said no. Flames are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. Just try and get to my brother now. Let's 
going on here? This is a lot to unpack all in one go. your feet. Oh no, they discovered the hideaway. I forgot about this bit. Dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. Whatever was in that box made Titan a tiny bit angry. The finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. Chop Make a nice steaks, gift for your wife. Sausage, all from greens fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. curatives, restoratives, of all you like, sir. It's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, milady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives. It's an ungent. Five years later. Year of the Realm 878. It's good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. 
Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. See, I've tried to have my brand removed. Lise, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us! I beg of you! Quiet means quiet, branded scum! <laughs> It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw! Sit here! Power of Thunder, Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Ramu's essence. Attuning a Ramu not only charges the elemental changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Thunderstorm, which rains levin bolts down on all nearby enemies, knocking them back. Ramu's feet. Ramu's iconic feet, blind justice, can be used to lock onto and launch a barrage of all lightnings up to six targets. Lightning will temporarily remain affixed to the targets and can be ignited to deal additional damage by pressing B. Lightning ignition can be in initiated at any time regardless of recovery state. We'll have to try all these out. When I get a chance anyway. Not like right now. Because we've got... Get rid of the magic wielder for it. Oh yeah, I forgot about the your guard, have not they? Let's try thunder. Titan 
don't know. Seems uh Seems alright. Takes a little while, you just gotta have to stand there though. And that's not really what you wanna be doing in a fight. It might be better if you're like one on one or something, but Yeah, you can go away. They brought a pet. Mm. Oh, a big old kitty cat. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. I'm waiting for the lightning bolts to... Ah, I see. Missed that. What a whiff. Belly rubs. Belly rubs. I completely missed what his two other abilities were because I was too busy. God. I don't know why I make it that ability, to be honest with you. Just getting staggered again. There we go. Or oh, over the twenty thousand mark now. Republic War Panther Sling. Got another level up, have we? Just about. Lightning Shard. Used in crafting. That seems like a new weapon then. Power of the icon Ramu made manifest. This shard of crystal tingles in the palm and can be heard to emit a soft hum when that's our upgrade for the Garuda sword to be made. To hell with this! They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. They don't look happy. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? 
They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole, all because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all mugged now. <laughs> for five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Excuse me, I sneeze. This must be. This is our home, and this is where we will stay. Well, we were warned people wouldn't appreciate it at the start. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. this then we've got a new hideaway among the unfading remnants of ambitions long forgotten do clive and his companions forge a path to a better tomorrow it's the only place we can go for now so we might as well go there That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope, for a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. <laughs> That's the vague outline of an airship. Home sweet home. Otto New items now you. available at Karen's Song. Go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. Pedigree. Pedigree affects Togol's attack potency and increases a Togol accompanies Clive in battle. Now, so as we play the game, he gets... We have to, we have to command him to use these, otherwise... 
They won't build it. I see. Ramu Channel. Let's take, check him out. So we have Blind Justice, which we know about. Crap damage. And not that great stagger either, to be honest with you. Increases number of lock ons. And that's it. Fair enough. Thunderstorm does quite a lot of damage, to be fair. Powerful a thunderstorm that rains multiple bolts of lightning down on a target. Increases number of lightning strikes. Assignment to any icon. Drive Ramu staff into the ground, electrifying all enemies within a radius of the strike. That looks quite useful. Good damage and stagger. Hits an ability radius and assignment to any icon. And then we've got Lightning Rod, which does okay damage and real good stagger. Create a ball of lightning that upon being struck chains lightning to other nearby enemies. Increases the range of lightning when striking the ball. And then we've got Judgment Bolt, which is the big, big, big one. Look at the damage on that, and the stagger. Summons from the heavens a mighty Levin Bolt that deals massive damage to a single target. Increases the number of bolts, and assignment to any item. So the bottom one here is always like a... Like the big man ability, isn't it, really? Let's be honest. I kind of want to take that, because that looks really, really good. Uh, thunderstorm seems good. Pile drive seems good, when you're surrounded. It's kind of useful to have something that's good against being surrounded and good at single target damage, which is what these two are. But then this does a shit ton of damage. Maybe we could use that instead of Tornado, maybe? But Tornado does a shit ton of stagger damage. So it's good for getting them staggered. So Garuda's really all about the the stagger damage. Ramu's all about the actual damage. And Phoenix is kind of a mixture of both, really, isn't it? I don't know. I'll have to sit and have a play a bit with him, I think. See, this seems useful as well. Do these counters, do I have to assign these, or can I just use these anyway? I think I have to assign these as well. Oh, we'll have a play around with them at some point. Welcome back, Sid. Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. I expect he'll be in the mess. Oh, yeah. Time. Oh, yeah. It is Sid. They've probably got a ton of side quests to do now. Ah, oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sent his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the force he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. 
If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out? There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Here she does. What's this? You're wondering what the new board behind me is, aren't you? Actually, yes, I was. You're a mind reader. All in good... Was that all in good time, my furless friend? All in good time. All right. I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? That's a long story. Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern Storm has endured, recent days have seen the Blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yaran. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Adequate. And how may I assist you today? I do wish our lawsman would consider acquiring some more contemporary volumes. I tire of the classics. Got some hours to tell us, I think, by the looks of that, but we'll wait. Where is Tomes? <laughs> Excuse me, it's sneezing again. Oh, Tomes is over here now. This way. There's Karen, there's a the jukebox.
Well, he's got his own library now. Wanky upgrade. Norseman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head. But without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> well, there's one, like, just outside your door. The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. There's a Moogle just yeah, inside the door, here. mate. I should get some rest while I can. Although I, he did say something about not showing ourselves to the people, didn't he, or something like that. My knowledge is yours. I have a few new notes that might interest you. I have quite the find for you today. Yeah, you probably have a quite a lot of uh, new information for us. The Founder. Fear the uncertainty reigning in those early years following the sins of... Whatever that word says. Not wanting to further incur the wrath of the heavens, a few who still survived the fall took to wandering the land, spurning magic and staying to the shadows, and so they lived for decades. One man, however, grew tired of this life it is... He could be called that, and after bidding his companions farewell, climbed a grassy you knoll overlooking the forest of beech and alder. Here he gathered a pile of rubble and used it to build a humble shelter in which he spent the night. The next morning, however, instead of abandoning his work, as was his people's want, he gathered more rocks, adding to the structure until the shelter became a shack. This he continued for days, weeks, until the shack became a home. At first, a few wanderers who passed the knoll would shun him, cursing the man under their breaths for his hubris. But as his estate grew, and one building became two and three, the people began to slow their steps, and it was not for long before some took to joining him on that knoll, gathering stones, buildings, and new lives, new destiny. Dude, how long is this? This they did without magics or machines, without boon or blessing. They re relied on naught but their hands, their backs, their wills, and each other. And slowly, house gave way to village, village to town, town to nation. The man would one day die, as all men do, but those who remained continued his legacy, expanding upon it. And though his name was eventually forgotten, his spirit lives on to this day in the hearts of all Rosarians. Well, that was fantastic. This one's a bit shorter. 
An international pact made by the dawn of the present era in which such matters as the treatment of bearers and the establishment of realm-wide currency were laid out. It formed the base of much of the Valisthean society as it stands today, including the branding of bearers and their status as non-persons. It also put in place a universal calendar, making a symbolic fresh start for mankind, albeit one with put magic users at a crippling disadvantage. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. And then we got a load of other stuff, but I think that's enough reading for the time being. Alive. Ooh. I thought that was a chest. Go see what Karen's got. Or not. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could finally... Gav thought worthy of a letter. You finally got your scar. Or your brand taken off with this giant scar in the shape of the brand. Does that one have blood on it? And what can I do for you? If you're gonna you... buy some, it'd be quick about it. Uh... You don't have anything. Oh, you do? You have Chandler's Whisper. It automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Accessory effects will no long will not trigger unless the ability to charge magic is alert. So every every magic thing I cast is a charge magic. Increases limit break generation amount by three percent when dealing damage. That doesn't seem really worth it for twenty six grand. Increases the limit break generation amount by six percent when taking damage. That doesn't either. Increases gear learn by thirty five percent. Uh, increases the ability points earned in normal counters by 20%. That seems useful, to be honest. And music, and we got an elixir in here for 10 grand. Come again, or don't. Let's just quickly oh, check out what the, the blacksmith has. Okay, yeah. So, what would it be? We can make a leaven bolt. Flame tongue, lightning shard, and meteor. 195. It'll last you a good while. Anything right. else? Oh, that looks cool. Right, before we continue the story, though, this seems a good place to wait, so uh, I'm going to end it here. So a massive thank you to those of you who are watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to catch you all in the next one for some more Final Fantasy 16.